How's it going guys? In today's video I'm going to show you how to boot into stock Android recovery on your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, this device right here, or the Samsung Galaxy S6. It's the same exact process. This will help you in case you just want to reset your device or you get some kind of glitch with it or some problem where it won't boot up correctly. This might be able to save you and get your device working once more for you. So on that note, let's go do this. So you want to wipe data factory reset your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, Samsung Galaxy S6. Either way, it's going to be done the exact same way. Let me show you how to do it. If your device is on, you got to power it off. All right. If you're having some kind of a boot loop or some kind of a problem where the device isn't powering up, this is always a good thing to try to do. You can see mine's a T-Mobile variant. All right. So to do this, you're going to, have to do a couple things. You're going to have to, to hold your um, home button, your volume up button, and then your power button. And just keep holding them. Once you see this screen, let go of the power and keep holding volume up and home. Alright, now you're going to see this information right here. Okay, so it says installing system update. Why does it do that? It's kind of hilarious, but it does. It kind of throws you, it kind of scares you. Don't worry about it. Just wait and what's going to happen is you're going to be presented with the recovery screen. So normally stock recovery is used to update your system. So this thing's doing kind of like a check to see if there's an update there. But since there's not, it's just going to go into the recovery screen like normal. Like that. And then that. Okay? Makes sense? Let's zoom in and get a closer look. Alright, so from here you can see you're presented with a bunch of options. The way you maneuver through stock Android recovery is with your volume up and down. See? Pretty pretty basic, right? So there's a lot of options you can do. If you have a boot loop and you don't want to lose any of your data, a good thing to try and get your device working and powering up again is wiping cache partition. So you would just hit power and boom, it wiped it, okay? But we're going to do factor reset. So we're going to go down here and this is going to be wipe data factor reset. Now this will totally wipe out all of your applications on your device. It will be totally reset to like new. And you just hit that button. And you will go down here and it says yes, delete all user data. Go ahead and scroll to it and highlight it. Yes, I want to do that. Go ahead and paste it. And there's actually some progress down here at the bottom. Sorry about my camera. There you go. And it says wipe data complete. We'll screw it back up here and you can see it's back to your screen. So from here, reboot system now and you will reboot. This is going to take a little bit for it to boot up. First boot up is going to take a little bit of time. So, you know, no worries there. Just, just let it do its thing. Um, normally it's going to be about three or four minutes for first boot up after wipe dating factory reset. But that's pretty much it, guys. That is how you do it manually. It's very, very simple to do. Not a big deal at all. And this might save you getting your device um, working again if you have some kind of major catastrophe and it won't turn on anymore or it's in some kind of a boot loop. So there you go. Hope you guys like this video here on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Stay tuned for more videos on this device. I will be rooting it, installing custom recovery, showing you how to restore the firmware with a program called Odin and many, many more. So stay tuned for those, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Shabam, she boots up. That's what I'm talking about. Very easy to do. You can see it's completely factory reset.